What is up? Um, it's going to be a different video. I'm going to have some stuff that came in the mail today. Um, but that's really not why I'm making this video. Um, I just came at from a meeting um, from my work. And it was like a pre-deployment meeting. Um, briefing civilian people in the, in the real world call it meetings. Um, and it was basically what to expect um, on deployment as far as emotions, financials, um, all that. And I've been on a very small handful of, of deployments. When I say deployments, I mean six, seven plus months um, in my military career. Um, but I haven't been on one in a long time. Um, and the last time I went on a deployment, I had a different wife and a six-month-old. And now I have a brand new wife, which which is effing amazing, um, just badass, man. I, I seriously could not have a better wife than what I do. Um, a, a stepdaughter, which I didn't have last deployment, which seriously, like this kid does really nothing wrong. Um, she tells white lies here and there about her grades at school, but I don't know a whole lot of kids that don't do that. And uh, I've had two more kids, two more boys. Um, so just coming back from that meeting, I'm kind of like, fuck, dude. And yes, there will be language in this video. I'm sorry. I'm just like, damn, this is really happening, man. Um, and this one, um, I can't go into specifics. Um, but this one is supposed to be pretty flippin' long, dude. Um, and as we get closer, it gets more real, and it gets closer and closer, and there's nothing you can do, or nothing I can do, to slow it down. And I, I don't want to say it's a depression thing, or depressed, or anything like that, but it's like, oh my god, dude, this is this freaking freight train's coming down the tracks, and you can't stop it, son. <sighs> Um, yeah, so that's that. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, and well, I guess what brought it up, because I went to the post office and bought some stamps today, and I'm like, I'm sending off these TTMs, these last minute TTMs, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be here when these suckers get back. Um, obviously I will be back. Um, it's just these things, I won't see them for quite some time. Um, and it, it kind of sucked. This is a selfish um, aspect of it, but I'm, I'm finally getting to where I would like to be in the YouTube um, community and in the TTM community. Uh, people know me. People ask me opinions. Um, people are excited and PM me and text me of shit they got in the mail or stuff that they have traded for. I mean, that's kind of where I wanted to be when I started this um, venture four or five years ago. Um, I never wanted to be like the biggest dude in the TTM community or the card collecting community. I just wanted to be somebody that people could call friends, man, and uh, people could go to. And I'm, I'm getting to that, and I feel like I've been there for about a year or so. And uh, it kind of blows because when you're on the ship, um, you don't have YouTube. Um, if you do, it's like dial up, man. I mean, it's terrible. So, um,. Yeah, so it's like, damn, man, unless I reach out to uh, some of you guys, I'm like, shit, dude, I'm going to lose all of that that I worked, um, I don't want to say worked hard for, but I worked to get um, as far as respect and friendships and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that kind of blows. And hell, who knows, man, when I get back, you know, shit changes, man, in, in a year, year and a half. You never know if you're going to still be into this, making videos and all that. So all this stuff plays, just runs through my head um, right now that I'm just kind of word vomiting right now to you guys. I'm um, so sorry if it doesn't make sense or sounds like I'm flipping crazy because um, this was very unrehearsed. I mean, actually, this is the second time I've made this video. Um, the first time I was two minutes into it, my wife called. Um, which is like a, such a reoccurring theme, man. I think in the last 10 videos I've made, she's probably called five times in the middle of them. And she doesn't call me that often. And I'm talking like we live together and we are on the same hours. It's like she'll go to the grocery store. So it's really funny that that keeps happening. But I got some stuff in today. Um, I'll get off that bullshit. Um, 
and uh, move on. Um, I've been watching a ton of videos lately, and I kind of kicked myself in the pants because I've not been making comments. The reason I haven't been making comments is a lot of times I'm watching these videos early, early in the morning. We're talking like 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, and it's dark as hell down here, downstairs. I don't turn on lights because I don't want to wake people um, up upstairs like um, where the light comes in below their door. Um, so if I can't see the damn keyboard, obviously I'm not typing um, comments. But I promise you guys I'm watching y'all's videos. Um, so that's that. Now that we're damn near six minutes into this, I'll finally show y'all some stuff. Um, I've bought this card for the third time. <laughs> I don't know where the first one is. Um, I don't know if I sent it to Jimmy TTM, being uh, naive to think he would sign TTM, or what the hell happened to it, but I don't have it. I bought it the second time, and I sent it to my um, person that is a PR person in NASCAR. She's saying that she would get it signed, and it still hasn't been signed, and that's eight months ago or so. Um, so definitely not holding my breath on getting that one back. And I bought this sucker thinking I was going to go to Sonoma and possibly get the shit signed, and I didn't. But at least now I have it. Um, this card, um, although it's not hard to find, it is hard to find with the plain-ass boring um, piece of metal. And it sounds silly that I would want that, but when they sign autographs on it, it shows up way better. So that's that. I um, got this in today. Last thing I sent to Mr. Ed Biles. Um, Houston Oilers coach. Those will be the last things that I send him because I already have them on the team photos. I um, got this in today from Jack Ingram. I might be wrong, but I think he was just inducted in the NASCAR Hall of Fame for the 2014 class, I think. I might be wrong. Uh, I know for a fact he was a nominee, and I don't know if he was selected or not. Um, yeah. And then I actually sent these two. I, I printed these two photos out online and sent them off to Mr. Um, Bud Baker because my boy Tyler got some photos that looked like these, and I was kind of jealous of his damn photos. Um, so I sent him two of these. So, boop, boop, boop. really happy to get those. Um, I'm getting really excited, man, about these NASCAR photos and how I potentially would like to frame them, even though it'll never happen because I always set goals to frame shit and it never happens. But up here, boy, it's a great idea, man, let me tell you. Um, I got this in from a buddy of mine in the Facebook group. I honestly don't even remember him um, asking for my address. Um, and I don't even know if he watches my YouTube videos or not, but uh, his name's Mark Russell. And uh, he wrote, here's a couple cards uh, you might like. And I did open them, and I do like. Um, who's this? Keith Bodie And Anthony Goose. And that is... Pretty big time, dude, because I had Anthony Goose for that future set I was working on, and apparently the mother effer doesn't sign autographs, like, period. Um, I have a friend of mine that um, autographs the stadium um, where Mr. Goose was last year, and he had a friend that was actually on the team, um, and so I shipped my card to him. He gave it to his friend. Because I'm like, okay, this is the only way I'm going to get this dude to sign that damn card. He actually turned that dude down, his teammate. He turned his teammate down for an autograph because he says, I don't sign autographs. Um, I sent one to his coach, um, his manager, I should say. I always, I always get that confused. I sent one to his manager with like this big old freaking monstrosity of a package. Of like, hey, I'm giving you this stuff. Can you do me a favor and get this signed? He actually returned my items to me, stating he loved the items and he would have loved to keep them, but he couldn't keep them because Anthony does not sign autographs. It's like if I would have got it signed, I would have been more than glad to keep this stuff because it was awesome. So, dude, to get that, pretty big time. And then he got he sent me these cards that um, are un unsigned, but 
they're pretty awesome cards. Um, I don't know who this guy is, um, Steve Clevenger, but I know these last three: Delano De Shields Jr., Starling Castro. And I'm real excited about this one because I've been wanting to buy some of this guy's um, autograph-wise. Um, Andrew Kashner. So I'm really excited. Um, out of this package, Mark, I would probably say I'm the most excited about this damn uh, Andrew Kashner and Anthony Goose, man. Um, those are really right up my alleys, man. So I appreciate it. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending that my way. And I had one last thing to tell you guys, but it slipped my damn mind. Um, so, oh well. So hopefully, oh, well, I got this in today also. For my Rockets team photo, I'm just, it's more of an alumni photo. Um, this is the one I got in today, Scott Brooks, the current coach of the Oklahoma Thunder. So I'll be sending that out to someone. I don't know who the hell signs. Um, that was part of the Rockets alumni. So going out, if any of you guys know any Rockets, current Rockets, or people that played on the Rockets alumni and shit like or stuff like that, that signed TTM, please let me know, man, because um, Star Tiger's not helping me out a whole lot right now on that. Um, so that's that. So sorry for the long video, guys. It was a long video with not a whole lot of stuff in it. Um, I just had to do videos like that every now and then, and hopefully someone out there listens to this shit. Um, so until next time, adios.